learn or see C++ programming. In this session, we look more about string pointers. Let us see some more interesting or strange behaviors of string data type. In the last video, we have seen how to access individual characters from a string array or a string pointer. In the program, we have printed each characters from a string using percentage C formatting specifier by accessing each characters individually. Let us play more on string. In this and previous videos we have used pointer data types. Are you okay with the concept of pointer? Pointer is just a variable. In languages, we use variables for storing values in it. Or the variables are the name of memory locations given by the user. The memory system in the computers uses complicated hexadecimal numbers for referring them. For the our convenience, we can give some name for our reference. That is what a variable is. We can refer a memory location or use the value in the memory location with the help of the variable. Similarly, pointer is also a variable. The normal variables are used to store some value, but pointer variables are used to store the memory location where the value is stored. I will repeat it once again. Pointer variables are used to store the memory location where the value is stored. Let us recall the previous program where we have accessed each and every individual characters of a pointer variable str by the help of a while loop. All the string values will be terminating with a slash zero the termination character. So our while loop is checking for the existence of a slash zero and it is supposed to terminate when the value pointed by string variable is having a slash zero that will be the end of the string until that we have to repeat the loop and in the loop we are accessing the string value as well as the string memory location str star refers to the value pointed by the string pointer and str refers to the memory location where exactly that value is stored so the printing is given in this format percentage t c that represent to the value suppose i is the first character in this case i is stored in percentage d the lo memory location where exactly the value i is stored in the computer's memory or in the ram it is going to be printed and after printing we are incrementing str plus plus the value str is incremented or the address is incremented so that it is going to locate the next character where it is stored so that every time uh, within the loop we are incrementing str or the memory location so that to access the very next character where it is stored and the integer value i with an initial value 0 it is being incremented within the loop so that we have to we uh, we can count the number of characters existing in the while loop and finally we are printing the length this program can also be used to get the length of the string which is given here let me save the program compile the program run it okay we are getting the full details 
i t underscore t a c h e r one at yahoo dot com. That's my email ID. Each and every characters are stored in the computer's memory, and it is giving where exactly each and every characters are stored. Forty two thirty one twenty eight four. That is the very first address which we are using in that place. I is stored, and two eight five. The next location, the T is stored. Two eight six. The third location underscore is stored like that. We are getting the address location in computer's memory where all the characters are stored, and this is our last value, three zero four. That is the place where our M, the last character of my email ID, M is stored in this particular memory location. This is a numerical value to address the memory of the computer system, and finally we are getting the Uh, length of the string it is having 21 characters okay in this example we came to know that how the characters are represented in the computer memory location and by using the pointer data type how we can use the values within a character array or a character pointer and how to navigate through the memory locations you can increment or decrement the pointer values so that you can play around or you can move through the ram computer's memory or the place where you are saving your values okay let me add some more code here here i have introduced a for loop for i equal to 0 j less than or equal to 0 that means i have to declare another variable j J greater than or equal to zero and J minus minus. So this is a for loop, and I will be having the maximum value or the twenty one. That is our value, and it is going to be executed until J reaches a value zero, and each and every time the value of J is going to be decremented by one. And in this for loop. I am printing the same detail in it. Percentage C is to represent the character, and percentage D is used to represent the memory location or the address where STR is pointing into. So this is a forward navigation from I to EM, and in this for loop we will be having a backward navigation from EM to I. or in this case in the for loop case we are going to get the string printed in the reverse order let us try it out it got compiled and link let me run the program the output is little lengthier okay the very first one with the i uh, while loop we got printed it underscore teacher one at yahoo dot com and all the characters as well as the memory location where it is being saved and we got the length twenty one characters and at the end after that we are getting a display m o c that is in the reverse order it underscore teacher one yahoo dot com and it is giving the display where it is stored So I is stored in the place two eighty four. That is the same case before. So this is giving an idea how the memory locations are stored in the computer places, and how we can access the pointer values here. Okay. This is the program. Please try it out. And here, now I am going to remove the address details. That is only for the explanatory purpose. If you want to access the pointer, we just have to use star str so that we can access the values. And I just want to reverse the string. 
there there was was a a string 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 is so here we will be getting the reversed string and let us save the program compile and run it it got compiled let me run the program okay i did one mistake i didn't uh, remove all these values here I don't want slash n here too because it should be printed together because it's a string that it be printed together compile again run it it underscore teacher one at yahoo dot com that is the original string and its length is given here length of the string is twenty one and the reverse string is it underscore teacher one at yahoo dot com. If you read it in the reverse way, you are getting it. Okay, this program you can use it for reversing a string. This is a simple program, not that complicated. We have used the pointer variable here, and we have assigned a value, a string in it. using while loop we have navigated through the string variable in the forward direction and at present we are pointing to the end or str variable is pointing to the last character after that we got the length within the program within the while loop we got the length and the length will be i because every time it is incrementing by 1 so after that we got the value of i so we can use for loop for i is equal to So for a, for j equal to i, i is the length, the maximum length, maximum uh, the length of the string and to the zeroth position or the very first position, and every execution of the for loop we are decrementing the value of j by one, and we are printing it, printing the value, the character value that that's what we are using star str, and str minus minus each and every time we are. we are decrementing it because we are at the end we are starting from m to i in this case but in the case of while loop we are starting from i to m that's why we are incrementing okay this is the program please try it out let me save the program compile it once again let me run it Okay this is the program we are getting the pre, uh, string printed length also got printed and reverse string is also got printed Okay try this program I am Shanti Philip hope you have enjoyed this video Thank you for listening me If you have any doubts or clarification needed please feel free to contact me And please don't forget to post a comment in the YouTube after watching the video. Additionally, you will be appreciated if you can share this YouTube links to your friends too. Bye. Have a nice e-learning experience.